I, I made this video before, but this time I'm going to do it properly. And even if I don't have the stupid illustrations and showing demonstrations of crap, frig it, it needs to be seen. I'm tired of this. So anyways, when it comes to uh, Mario, Par Mario Party, my gosh, Mario Kart, things have got dummy down and it got dummy down since the Wii U. It's like, yeah, it's the Wii U, even though it's like, you can't blame the Wii U, but it's like, gotta blame the Wii U because, well, y'all guys are bastards. No offense, it's like, y'all guys are bastards, should have bought a damn ass Wii U, so we would have Mario Kart 9 instead of still Mario Kart 8, which dummy down all the damn shit. I would like to actually have these things back. So what did we lose because you guys were a bastard ass bastards and you decided to skip it and we get to freaking have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Here's the things that you lost. Let's go with, of course, Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart Wii are mainly the good sources of how to explain this. And go ahead and play it for yourself if you can. Anyways, Mario Kart 7, let's go with the thing of where the gliding part, the gliding portion, which that was the first time it showed up, and then it got amplified in Mario Kart 8, but it was capped up the ass. Now, let me tell you that I enjoy manipulating the flight system so much that there's like at least two levels where I could actually just soar for quite a long minute. Okay, that was what the fuck. But anyways. I could soar for like a long minute and freaking just break the game just by doing it. And sadly, in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, when it comes to the whole flight part, um, you get a bit screwed. The only thing you're able to actually do, so, do which is pretty cool, is hit the signs of, I say, three locations. Yeah, it's like three locations where you can hit the sign and that's nice and enjoyable. But they make sure that the flight system just ends at some point. It just ends. It doesn't allow you just to descend to the point of where it's like, ah, there we go. So instead of actually having an interesting idea of where it's like you have flight now and you can actually use flight to your advantage. Instead, it's basically still racing instead of flight versus racing. And it's like if you know how to do it, oh, man, you're going to be soaring for quite a long while. But of course, as you can figure you have budgeting and you have borders and crap and borders definitely existed in Mario Kart 7 as well, but they weren't as lenient and you would figure that when it comes to the game system, it, the console itself is like there shouldn't be borders. They actually should actually be able to do much more. And I know Mario Kart Wii had so much stuff that happened. That's like, wow. But there's many others where it's like... <clears throat> handhelds have some cap capabilities so if you're able to amplify what happened with a flight in a game in a game console version then it's like yeah it's gonna be freaking awesome i can soar straight through and people will be maybe pissed off but it's like it depends on if you actually know how to do this shit and even then it's like it depends on if you have the right items too so with all that said that's a good thing that happened that they just capped and then just made it very, very short. And I'm like, this is really not fair. You know, it really isn't fair, especially when it comes to like, um, I forgot what that freaking one was called, but the one with all the lava, all that one with the lava, that one could be freaking damn fun. And you do have a flight portion in that one. And if you had time it just right, you're able to do just a little bit more. But technically, if they were awesome, it would be like, you're just going to keep on soaring no matter what, baby. You're going to keep soaring until you actually finally descend and have to make a landing. Meanwhile, this one, they force you to land no matter what. So it totally sucks. Number two is like a little bit of a, it's an it's a freaking issue to me, but it's like it's not that bad of an issue, but it really is a messed up issue that Mario Kart Wii showed it the best. I think Mario Kart 7 was the part of where it declined to where it's like, oh, this sucks. But <clears throat> I don't quote me on that one. But it's like Mario Kart Wii, when you actually go very, very fast, like with a mushroom or with the one of the spots, 
the crazy part about that is that the freaking blooper ink just you know just comes from it's like as if when it comes to rain you know and then you get from the rain and you get into the wind and the wind just parts the freaking rain from your windshield in a nice good freaking motion that's what they had in mario kart wii and then all of a sudden they don't have it anymore and i'm like this is some bull crap bull crap what the fuck? <sighs> then let's talk about coverage yeah like coverage like if you know how to do items you'll know that you can cover yourself from getting hit by red shells mostly red shells but thank goodness they have something to deter from the blue shells but yeah red shells even green shells, you're able to actually protect yourself from them, which is the bananas and the green shells. And a long while ago, except for when it comes to Mario Kart 8, you used to be able to be fully covered. No matter what the fuck they do, you're going to be fully covered and it won't actually hit you. Now it can hit your ass. That's some damn bullshit. Not to mention the fact that the bananas didn't used to twirl around like that crap either. It, make, it makes sense with the freaking shells, but now the bananas do it too? What the fuck? So that's messed the freak up where it's like, yeah, so the bananas always were able to protect you. And now it's like after one gets used, the other two have to be freaking thrown away because they're not going to be useful. It's like I missed that part, too, where it's like, oh, so you put extra effort into this crap, but you're not going to put extra effort in something else. The freak. Yeah, it gets very messed up where it's like, yeah, the freak. And not to mention that the green shells now, along with the red shells, are able well, the red shells are able to hit you. And apparently the red shell might be able to hit people from the back now. It's like the fuck? And the green shell. It used to be able you have to freaking eyeball it and hope for the best. And now it's like, nope, we hit we it hits you automatically. You're able to get hit by a green shell now. As if it's a red shell. The fuck. Not to mention, usually, now it's like they make the shells durable, and I'm like, that's some bullshit. It's like, I would have been fine if you decided to actually be like, we have some new shells, new types of variants of shells in the game. Or you have the shell where it's freaking damn strong as fuck, and it's able to bounce like ricochet all over things and hit your ass, which is bullshit. Or the one that just breaks, just straight up, you missed, it break, there you go, the end. Or... Yeah, I bet that's it. Yeah, you you miss, it breaks. The end, you lose. Too bad. <laughs> it's like, that's why you need to keep it as protection. But instead, they did this crap, and I'm like, the fuck is this, man? The fuck is this? What the fuck? <sighs> oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I could get started about all the messed up crap of where they do combo moves, but, you know... There's one thing that's the worst thing of all, which is might be a two-parter. It definitely is, but let's start with the first one, which is you can't tell who has an item now. You can't tell who threw the freaking damn blue shell or did the lightning or fucked you over. I mean, red shell, easy to figure it out somewhat, but when it comes to the damn ass lightning or the blue shell, I would like to know who the fuck did that shit. And they're like, uh, we don't know, man. No, it it was something that was in the handhelds that we did a long time ago, and yeah, it was on the Wii. But freak it, we don't need to tell you who did it anymore because you know we don't really need to tell you. And it's like, yes, you fucking damn do. They deserve to get punishment. They fuck me over, so I get to fuck their ass over instead of the stupid mentality. Then, oh, you can screw them over by winning the race. It's like. No, I want to freaking damn wait, get something, hit their ass a couple of times, then continue on with my damn race in the next race. Because this is some bullshit where it's like, yeah, you rarely will get to see this crap. And it got cut in, I, yeah, I think it definitely got cut in Mario Kart 7, didn't it? Well, if it didn't get cut in Mario Kart 7, which, no, no, Mario Kart 7 had that part. And I think they even had the other thing I got to say. It was, again, the Wii U where they cut out everything, even though it's like, but this is the console version. The console version, you're just doing freaking highlights, and the highlights rarely will maybe show you who threw the blue shell. Man, fuck that shit. I want to know who fucked the blue shell. 
which brings us to the next part of where it's like they cut out the freaking damn replay. Instead, they just get snapshots of it instead of being able to replay the whole entire damn shit. And it gets very messed up and laughable where it's like, hey, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is able to play a damn ass match. They're able to play a match. They're able to do it. You're able to play a match that you save. It could even last 20 minutes and you're able to save that shit. And you're telling me that we don't get to have the freaking damn replay of this crap. Not to mention, we can't even get to save the freaking damn replay of it. We don't get to save that crap. So you, you can understand why Mario Kart 9 seems very, very plausible. Being like, it definitely should happen. But since lots of people are still buying this damn game, you are all idiots. Sorry to say that, but you are all fucking idiots. Well, let me rephrase that. People are watching this are not idiots. The people who is watching it and didn't buy a Wii U, you might be an idiot. Uh, people who are watching this, or people, period, who's watching this, well, you know, subscribers are included in this, where it's like, yeah, you, you're not extremely idiots, but I'm just saying, you are all part of the damn-ass problem of where it's like, there's things that needs to be fixed when it comes to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So Mario Kart 9 needs to happen so they can actually put in the stuff because previously they were able to straight up say, oh, the reason why we did this was because of cutting costs. We had to make this game fit into the system and we had to cut a few things. And it's like, now since we got a powerful system, bring that shit back, okay? Bring that shit back. And I'm pretty sure many people would love to actually be able to have their game console or basically have their footage of the race and actually have it instead of this crap of where it's like, well, you kind of can save it for like five seconds. That's all you get to do. And it's like, seriously. Oh, man. So that's that's the real messed up freaking things that is missing from Mario Kart that used to be here, but they decided to cut it from the last generation. And because you bastards did not buy the console and buy Mario Kart 8, we have to freaking deal with this crap all over again. And I'm sorry, but I'm a vengeful jerk. I'm a visible jerk when it comes to video games. If you fucking hit me and screw over my race, but I still make it a first, the next game, I'm the next freaking race, I'm going to be like, you got me going down. I'm slowing. I'll let you go so I can't hit you with red shells. I'm going to hit you with red shells. I'm going to hit you with red shells. I'm going to do dirty. I'm going to hit you with red shells. It's like, that's what I'm going to freaking do. I'm going to fuck him over. So it's like, so next time you think I want you to use a blue shell, think again, bastard. Think it freaking damn again. Because I'll come back here again the next race and whoop your ass again. That's how it's going to fucking work. Either that or I'm going to go Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and whoop your ass. And it's like, I need to know who the fuck did it. And of course, there's some who actually are in the freaking damn game, like Baby Luigi or Baby Mario. And even then, it's like, freaking, I'll still beat the shit out of the freaking adult version of it still. So it's like, oh yeah, Yoshi, I mean, Toad is not even in the game. Yeah, it's not in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, so it's like, yeah, that's the only one that's like, damn, this sucks, but <sighs> I'm just saying that when it comes straight down to it, all of these freaking things should be in there, okay? And yes, they did the whole thing of we added two items. It's like, yeah, but you were able to do that if you know how to do it, which is if you get the freaking bananas, <clears throat> you have the bananas and you can have an item on layaway. Or if you get the shells, the shells are rotating on you and you can get an item again. It's like, you don't really need two items at once. They're just freaking doing this crap to actually be like, yeah, yeah see, see, there we go. <clears throat> we fixed somewhat that was there. It's like, not really. Yeah. And of course, well, just one little extra nitpick is the fact of you guys ported this over from the Wii U. And yet, when you did it before, it was like you might have not had time to do what was need to be done with those trophies. Now you do. You should have made different versions of the damn trophies. You should have freaking damn did a design of the trophies because you weren't doing much. You weren't doing much at all in that game. 
maybe some, but I'm pretty sure someone could have actually have done something with those four trophies. Just saying. Excuse me. And I'll just end it by saying this. When Mario Kart 9, someday when it hits, <clears throat> I will say, I'll be cool if you don't have the tracks from previous. It's like, yeah, the four ones that were technically DLC. I'm cool if you cut them. I'm cool if you cut the um all of the Animal Crossing characters. I'll cool you cut them. I'm cool if you cut Link. I'm cool if you cut all. Well, I guess Link can stay. Supposedly, I guess Link can stay. But the um, it's like yeah, and the Splatoon. It's like yeah, they can get cut. It's like almost everyone can get cut. That isn't Mario related, except for Donkey Kong and Link. As for everyone else, it's like nah. I'm cool if you actually cut them from us. I'm cool if you cut them. I'm cool if you do that. <sighs> I guess the only funny part is that, okay, well, what about Link? Link has one course then. If he's going to stay, then shouldn't he keep this course? And I'm like, eh, I'm not sure, man. It's like, I guess he could keep his course, I guess. And what about the F-Zero courses? Like, okay, I guess they can stay. But considering, you know, they were just supposed to be a nice little nod. It's kind of like Dragon Ball Budokai 2 and Budokai 3. Budokai 2 decided to do some fun fusions. Budokai 3 decided to incorporate all of the movie bad guys. But when you go on into more of those movies or the video games, you'll notice that many of them have been cut. It's like no weird fusions, no weird Pataras. The movie characters are now back in their slumber waiting to be like, you remember us. <laughs> Uh, anyways we'll see how the future brings but i'll just say for anyone who is buying mario kart 8 deluxe you're a damn ass moron please buy it second market so they don't have any more sales of freaking mario kart 8 deluxe it's like yeah please do that buy it from gamestop buy it from a game store don't buy it new okay if we're able to slow down the freaking damn sales of mario kart 8 deluxe they might go with mario kart 9 because they're like i said all these things that we've lost should be in this game now. But yet, since none of you are, since many of you, I'm not sure if you're included, but like many of you just skipped on the damn Wii U and then Mario Kart 8 didn't get bought. And you're like, oh, we can just, because people missed out on the game. It's like, yeah, so you see, you really need to actually freaking next time support whatever they do. Because if you don't, they will just bring it back again. And then we're well, like, where's the next one? Everyone else is doing the same exact shit, which is they missed out on a game. So they're getting it now. And we don't get to have a new game with more things or at least things added again. And it's just, it's just completely stupid. <sighs>